Okay guys, I am back for the last part after the paint has been done on the geo tumbler. Um, the last step that you guys saw was putting the white paint on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I have to let you know that um, you're going to see some imperfections in this tumbler, and that is because I was trying to get this tutorial done today, so I literally rushed this cup out in two days. I got as much epoxy on there as I could, but it wasn't enough. So um, if you're making this cup, please make sure that your epoxy coat is smooth and you have no glitter showing before you start painting. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up with some of these imperfections, which I will work around, but um, for your own sanity, try to get your coat as your epoxy as smooth as possible before you start this process. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm using 100% acetone. Um, I got this little bottle at Rite Aid. Um, it has a pump top. It just makes it easier and I just refill it when it gets empty with 100% acetone. I'm also using a, um, a rag. It's got this mesh on one side. That's not necessary. I just picked these up on a clearance rack so they're you're definitely going to want to use a rag that you are prepared to throw away um, because you're going to be using acetone to remove paint. So um, I'm going to use this guy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to move the camera down where you can see what I'm doing. I kind of have a lot of cups going right now, so um, I don't have a lot of room in my workspace. So I'm just going to kind of do it right here in front of me. But I'm going to be pressing down. This gets wet with acetone. And then you choose your spot on the tumbler. I'm going to start with this spot over here that's rough. And I'm going to start rubbing the paint away. I'll show you guys how to get rid of the paint around here too once I get this where I want it to be. Okay, so as you start rubbing, you start seeing that your paint, you're getting your paint off of there. It's exposing the glitter underneath. So you're gonna do this all the way around the cup, however much or little you want to show the glitter. Now, to remove the paint swipes that get on here, if, you, if those are undesirable and you don't want those on there, use rubbing alcohol. Again, I put my rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle so I can just spray some on there. A little bit of rubbing alcohol won't remove the paint layers like the acetone does, but you can wipe off the areas that um, you don't want the, over, the paint going over. And you can clean that up. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the acetone. I'm going to make this spot pretty big. So I'm going to take this all the way down. Not what I wanted to do there, but I'll go back and clean that off with the alcohol. You guys see how the glitter's coming through? So I'm going to go to another spot now. Let's see. Let's go right here. Just start with the spot right in the middle and work our way out.
I'm gonna get a new rag and get some alcohol on here and clean up some of this paint. that cleaned off of there also the last part when you're all done see this is kind of like this is really shiny and this is not it's because I just went over that with rubbing alcohol so if you go over your very last step when you have all your spots marked off and you're getting ready for the last step which is epoxy go over your glitter with rubbing alcohol to remove any paint residue it sparkles it right up Now you can really see that. More acetone. I'm going to go into this spot here and I'm just going to make it pointier. Make it pointier on this side. We're going to do one down here at the bottom and take it all the way over the end. Just going to keep repeating this process until I have as many spots on this cup as I want. Keep moving to a clean spot on the rag and going back in. There's a lot of different things you can do with these, um, especially if your last layer is white. You can go over them with the wood grain method and make it a look like it's wood grain. Um, Susanna has done some absolutely stunning things with these geode cups. Uh, she uses alcohol inks, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Susanna. But um, she goes in with alcohol inks and she's a freaking magician with them. I'm just kind of going around and I'm spreading the, the black. I'm spreading the black around a little bit. You can see up close. It, it's not really a lot. It just is kind of making it look a little rustic and I like that. make this one a little bigger and then when I'm done I'm gonna swipe that black away so that I don't leave any weird things behind I'm gonna do a little one here in between Do another little one right here. I'm 
Okay. So you guys get the gist of it, right? You're just taking the acetone and you're wiping away the layers of paint to your own desired likings. Um, you want more, you want less, whatever it is that you decide you want on there. These are 100% unique, each and every one of them. I'm just gonna take some rubbing alcohol on this and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna polish up each of these little pieces where there's glitter because it just makes a huge difference. So watch this come to life. So much better, right? So if you forget to do that step, it won't be as sparkly as I'm sure you all are intending for it to be. The whole point of these is for them to sparkle, right? Just wiping off some of the black that's on here with the alcohol. Again, I like it brushed through the way I did because it makes it look kind of rustic, but I don't want too much of it on there. Because this last color that I put on here is matte white, what you could do at this point in time is you could apply your alcohol inks. Uh, you would just dab them right on top of the white. Um, I may do that. I have a really pretty sparkly teal that I made. If you guys didn't see the video, um, I made a sparkly teal alcohol ink and it was stunning. So I'm gonna make these spots a little bit bigger. And um, once I'm done doing that, I will come back and we'll apply some alcohol ink. Why not? Okay, you guys, so I just went through, excuse me, and I um, made the spots larger. I used the same technique with the acetone, rubbed the paint away, and made the spots on the geode wired, wider. Wider. Uh, so that now when I go in on this white part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the glitter that I have on here is teal and purple. So I'm going to use the teal alcohol ink that I made um, with the Alumalite dyes. It's sparkly, so it'll be really pretty. And the purple that I made. And I'm just gonna apply those to the white parts of this tumbler. So I'm gonna start with the teal, because I already have, look at this guys. So, hiccups. The teal that I made is sparkly. It's so pretty, right? I can do a, a video for the YouTube channel that shows how I did that as well. So I'm using that, making sure it's all mixed up because it's got the sparkles in it. And I'm just gonna drop some on. And then I'm gonna start on the white parts and I'm just gonna pat that through And on the bottom, get a little bit more on there for this side. Okay, I'm going to switch out my sponge. And I'm gonna use the purple. Bring you guys down a little bit. So I don't have to hold my arms above my head to show you.
I'm going to dot that on. And then I'm going to take my alcohol spray where I've dotted on the purple and the teal and I'm just going to spray that just a little bit, not a full spray, just enough to get those colors working together. So I'm going to keep going with the purple over the teal. Put a little bit more purple on my sponge. I come back around to where I first started. I'm just going to dot some more purple in there with what's left on my brush. Actually, get the bottom with the purple too. I'm going to take the spray alcohol. And on these spots like that, I'm just going to gently spray a little bit of alcohol onto them. Now you can go back through on this and you can add or remove whatever colors you want. Um, I want that teal to be a little bit more pronounced, so I'm going to go back over the top of it with the teal. Switching out my little thing. This is a, it's a dauber with removable sponges. I got it in the Tim Holtz, I believe. Tim Holtz. I said that wrong before. I'm trying not to say that wrong again. Um, section where the alcohol inks typically are. At Michael's. So I'm just daubing that in. So that the teal has a little bit more of the focus. See, it's a little bit more teal now. Do that over here. that. Alright guys, I think you get the gist of it. So you just keep going back over with your alcohol inks until you have your desired look. Now the alcohol inks are not necessary. You can, um, you can do the alcohol inks or you can do paint or you can leave it white, uh, whatever you like. You could have stopped at the last step that I did, but we just decided to go ahead and take it all the way. So I will, um, Try to post a picture of this in the comments. Last time I tried to do that, it wouldn't let me. So I will try once this is all finished. The last step is going to be to epoxy the entire thing. So what I will do is I will spray the entire cup with this sealant. And I'll just hold that there for a second so everybody can see what it is. So I'm gonna spray the entire cup with this sealant to keep my alcohol inks from running and then the entire thing will get epoxy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, the last step as far as the putting epoxy on this goes, um, that's just like putting epoxy on any other cup. So I don't, I don't feel the need to add that to this video because it'll make this video very long. But that's it, that's all that's gonna happen is epoxy is gonna go on this after it's been sealed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I look forward to seeing many more geode cups um, in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.